Series 6. In this series we're going to talk about how to record, load and lock programs. We generally want to save a program purely because we've found the settings uh, for the job at hand. This will allow us to use these settings uh, for future use. Select setup mode on the wired let diameter selector switch. Cycle mode should now be displayed and you should be able to press the selectors button to shift from cycle mode to config mode. Activate the program management mode in the configuration menu. By turning the voltage encoder to PGN, we now should display this yes. By activating PGN, it'll allow us to record, load and lock programs. Once in Yes, exit the configuration mode by switching back to your wire size. Once you have decided on the parameters you would like to use, press and hold the selector button for approximately two seconds to activate memory. Use the voltage encoder to select record to save a program load LD to load a program or COD to lock a program. Okay, let's save under a program number. For example, let's store these parameters under program 10. If the program blinks, it has an existing program stored under this number. If you choose to do so, you can also overwrite the stored program. To save the program, press the selector button for a brief moment, one second, and yes should be displayed briefly. Job light should now be illuminated as you are now in that program you've saved. If you alter the program in any way, the job LED light indicator will start to blink, indicating that you are outside the program stored. For example, Loading a program allows you to select from the range of programs stored in the library. To load a program while in program management mode with the job light lit, simply press the selector button for approximately two seconds. From here, you can see that we have the selection of load, code or lock, or record a program will be displayed. Select load and let's choose a program you wish to load it under. For this instance we'll use program 10 again and to load the program simply press the select a button for a brief moment, one second and yes should be displayed. Job light should now be illuminated as you are now in that program you have loaded. If you alter that program in any way, the job LED light indicator will start to blink, indicating that you're outside the stored program, for example. When you lock programs in code, you do it to avoid any modifications from the welder. You now cannot modify any parameter values within the program, except when you're in PGA. Only select another number program. The front panel is also blocked, except for the selector switch and button. Code has blocked all programs. To lock or unlock a program while in program management mode with the job light illuminated, simply press the selector switch for two seconds. From here, we can load a program, we can code a program, or we can record a program. Let's select code a program. Select a number you wish to use from 
000 to 999. For example, let's choose 1001. Once you have selected 001, activate the code by pressing the selector button for a brief moment, one second, and on should be displayed. The job light should now be illuminated and you are in the program you have loaded. The front panel is also blocked except the setup position and button. The code has locked all programs. You now cannot alter the program in any way. You can only select another program number that is also locked. If you want a locked program to have PGA functions, then you'll need to set the PGA first. First, select setup mode on the wire diameter selector switch. Cycle should now be displayed and you should be able to press the selector switch and shift from cycle to config. Once in config mode, turn the voltage cl encoder clockwise until you reach PGA. Activate PGA by turning the right hand decoder from off to 10%. Okay, from PGA 10, select your wire diameter, then load your original program, in this case it was program 10. and add a locking program going into code and we'll call it 001 and all programs are now locked. So now you can adjust the wire feed speed from 10 meters a minute to the minimum or maximum of 11 meters a minute which is 10% or go down to 9 meters a minute and that's the variance the operator will have. The same applies with your voltage. You have 10% of your voltage plus or minus. Now that you've locked the program you can now adjust the wire feed speed between 9 meters and 11 meters a minute which is 10% of the 10 meter a minute when, when code is used. It will also adjust other parameters such as arc voltage, arc dynamics and fine pulse settings. Thank you for watching Series 6. In Series 7 I'll show you how to chain programs together.